Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of To the Point. Today's topic of discussion is Japan first ever mega quake advisory. First let us see why is it in the news. Recently Japan issued its first ever advisory on higher than usual risk of a mega quake after a strong magnitude 7.1 quake occurred at the edge of a tremulous seabed zone along the Pacific coast known as the Nankai Trough. Earthquakes with a magnitude larger than 8 are considered mega quakes. Let's know what is the Nankai Trough. The Nankai Trough is an underwater subduction zone nearly 900 km long where the Eurasian plate collides with the Philippine Sea plate, pushing the latter under the former and into the Earth's mantle. This accumulates tectonic stress which can cause a mega quake. According to the 2023 study, the trough has produced large earthquakes roughly every 100 to 150 years. These tremors usually come in pairs, with the second often rupturing in the subsequent two years. The most recent twin earthquakes took place in 1944 and 1946. As a result, experts worry that the next tremor along the trough could be devastating. Let's now discuss when can the next mega quake along the Nankai Trough occur. In January 2022, Japan's Earthquake Research Committee said the next magnitude 8 to 9 mega quake along the trough has a roughly 70% probability of striking within the next 30 years. Tsunami waves of up to 98 feet may reach Japan's Pacific coast within minutes after the quake. A 2013 government report found that a major Nankai Trough earthquake could impact an area that covers about a third of Japan and where about half the country's population of more than 120 million people live. Let's now discuss what is the Pacific Ring of Fire. Japan is one of the world's most earthquake-prone nations, sitting on the Pacific Ring of Fire arc of volcanoes and oceanic trenches. The Pacific Ring of Fire, or Pacific Rim, or the Circumpacific Belt, is an area along the Pacific Ocean that is categorized by active volcanoes and frequent earthquakes. Its length is over 40,000 kilometers and traces from New Zealand clockwise in an almost circular arc covering Tonga. Kermadec Islands, Indonesia, moving up to the Philippines, Japan, and stretching eastward to Aleutian Islands, then southward along the western coast of North America and South America. The area is along several tectonic plates including the Pacific Plate, Philippine Plate, Juan de Fuca Plate, Cocos Plate, Nazca Plate, and North American Plate. The movement of these plates or tectonic activity makes the area witness abundant earthquakes and tsunamis every year. Now it's time for the practice question. Consider the following statements about Nankai Trough. The Nankai Trough is an underwater subduction zone. It is where the Eurasian plate collides with the Philippine Sea plate. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, or neither one nor two. Send the answer to this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching. For more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications